Hello friends, this is Praveen Verma and Drupal and Google App Engine Mechanic at C-Simplify it. One of very India's leading company, IT company. So in, the, in my previous tutorial of Drupal and uh, Drupal and uh, JK Grid, I've told how you can create JK Grid in Drupal. In this video, I will tell about the modifications that you can do in JK Grid. It's like you want to update some things in JK Grid, you want to add something, if you want to delete something from the JK Grid, that kind of functionalities that I will tell you in this video. So first of all, you have to create buttons that will achieve that kind of functionality for adding and uh, deleting set and you can create your own form suffix from that so you can create your own buttons without using uh, form api of drupal like there i have created two buttons add records and here is the id of add record and update records and one for the update records the update results sorry so the functionality that uh, i am achieving on this in my js file when i'm clicking on that buttons of update so first of all i will show that everything first of all i want to show you how you can add record so let's go to the add record here is an id of add records when you click on that buttons there will be a ajax call to the module file hello page where the function and with the id is equal to 3 so it will resolve the id and on the basis of that will perform different functionalities like here is an id 3 so id 3 will be called here it will get the parameters from the js file means from the client and uh, will add the record and it will connect the database and some modification will be done in the database or adding results and it will show you and uh, there is the result of echo fields 3 that will send to the again js and perhaps you know the ajax flow at the time so data will as a success data will come in success functions and here i am performing the things for adding the result in jq grid jq grid means first of all let me to show you that i'm gonna do there in it refresh that page process is going on on back end it's taking times please wait for some time yeah it's done like there's and if i click on show result that i've done in previous video also uh, you can achieve the results in jq words here is a four records and i'm going to show in database here's a four records and four records corresponding to that are there if you want to add then type the name there like i'm um, going to add parveen burma in this list sorry and if you want to add add record you click and there is parveen burma in the new row and if you want to delete records, select records, and you want to delete that, click on that button. That if you want to delete couple corresponding tables, delete that and you delete it. That functionality is on how you can achieve that. First of all, for additions, add record is a button I have created and I have shown you. Click on that button, you will be the Ajax call there with data, ID, and name. I achieved in there add records. Execute that first of all. I execute so that why I execute the name. Then I have uh, for database I inserted inserted that fields in database. After that, I executed that commands and I am sending this means the response that uh, that names I have to add in jQuery and that has been updated in database. So I have sent it that and the ba back end it will I am my client is receiving that data. And inside the JQ, uh, when JQ grid for adding that, you have to do some things like this JQ grid parameter and records. It will give you the length of complete records in JQ grid because you have to add some things on the back on the last, so you have to get the length of the JQ grid. And that is the method for getting the length. And I've got, I got the length, and after that, look at that. I want to add that things means the ID and name. So record count basically giving me the number of uh, 
results are there on database so i made that id of mine and the data that you want to add at the time data means that has been sent it back i have sent it back the name so these records will be added i have that functionality is achieved add row data is a uh, jquery is a function <coughs> you can put there also but add add row data i have placed there J, uh, that is a id and that is a jquery is a function that i'm calling add row data is the first argument second one is i i means add to which columns i want to add i means the first column the zeroth ones there so i want to add there zero column that is the first column and the new data length new data length there is a two record so length will be two at the times so minus zero minus one that is one so it will add on the first columns that is the id graph sorry that is the id that you want to uh, add that you want to create for your first record so this is the id and uh, that i have for the first column this is the id and that is a records means the actually the data that we want to set in the first column and that will be added in the last means at the jquery in the last rows it will be added so in the functionality that you can achieve that <coughs> <coughs> sorry and for the deletion uh, 148 lines here is a deletion and the delete records nothing you have to do you i am not getting in this case connecting to the database so here is a function get get when you selected rows the rows that we have selected i got that and uh, i got those all records ids there is an array i am getting the length of it after the jq grid is an id of the, or jq grid is in delete records mean i want to delete i have deleted that's all things this is very simple in jq grid so you can achieve that functionality. The last one that I want to achieve is to is what I want to show only Parveen and Sumit in my next jQuery grid that I want to populate at the times what you can do is when I'm click on that great results. Means that the functionality that I want to achieve that I'm selecting the records there and I want to show this only those records that I've selected there is a different jQuery grid. The times what we have to do, update result I'm clicking on it. And there is one another grids only both records that I have selected. For achieving that, nothing you have to do. Very complex, only the very simple things that is at 67 line. Update go update result is a button. Click on it, check the grids. I'm getting the all the records that all the rows that have been selected, select rows. And one important things that I want to tell you how you can pass one array from your JS files to your PHP files. Here's in JSP files, this is an array array. If you want send that, then give it the names and at the server end means at the PHP you can achieve that thing very normally using the request parameters here. The request name parameters my array here. I'm getting the PHP array. I'm getting the length of it. Okay, and inside my database one fields is FEID and name. So FEID I'm appending my array first of uh, first column I and inside that if it is of it means it's the kind of logic that i've written there for connecting building my jquery after the where because i have a list of the ids that have to so my query will be of type where id is equal to 2 id is equal to 4 id is equal to 3 and i'm building that query using that logic that's very simple you can build on if you have different logic after that i'm connecting the different database again and here's I have placed my the builded query in this times that is this so I placed there all the thing uh, means the variables there so simple and uh, after that I'm achieving that uh, I have one simple that I have already told you in previous video to how the what should be the JSON format for building that I've done that and after that I'm sending the response and the JS file I'm getting response from that I'm creating one JQ grid and for that jQuery you could have created one different div and tables that is one that I want to show you after that jQuery grid is the previous one and for the newest one I have given the name id there it is yes, id oh sorry this is one and to the map one so I have done that I have placed there one one and after that here is one and one 
so i've achieved that functionality so thanks for watching video that kind of things you can done using that so stay with us and stay with c simplify